Hello my friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use Magic Morph to change your text into interesting um, colors and shapes. So stay tuned. All right, so recently I created this design and you'll see that the supercar uh, is text. Uh, it is text. Uh, you can see that. And um, it's got this gold shiny effect with an outline. Um, and I'm going to show you how I created that, uh, this gold shiny effect. So I'm going to start with a new page and I'm going to add some text. Um, this is the text and font that I used and I'm just going to say supercar and I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so that you can see better and um, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to your apps and search for magic morph and here's magic morph right here you can just click it and it will install it it kind of generates like an AI image of your text now although I have text selected on my workspace if I didn't have text and I just want to start from scratch I could do that too um, so the first step is to select an element in your design and if and if you don't have an element then you can add an example these are um, that's a shape this is text and this is just a um, graphic so you could um, start with a shape and then come to step two which is to describe what look you're looking for down here are uh, examples of how you would describe uh, what you're trying to do so when you select balloons uh, then just remember to come back up here to, to finish describing the look uh, when you choose pumpkin uh, the same thing come back up here um, so these are examples so let's say you didn't want pumpkin let's say you wanted um, a strawberry then you would choose strawberry and then you would select magic morph um, and then uh, go through the steps of selecting your final um, design that it creates or generates and so once you're in here you can just click on your text and you'll see it's selected right here supercar you can describe what you'd like and I um, if you want gold lettering try something like shiny gold text um, now you also have options for um, balloons you can change your text into fruit uh, you can change it into wood flowers you got all these different uh, options here if you like but I'm just gonna select shiny gold text and it's gonna come up with four different creations of the um, gold effect that I've asked it to create and then you can select whichever one that you like the best or you can uh, ask it to create it again so I am going to select this one this, this one looks really really good and um, so there it's placed it right onto my workspace and I'm just going to try and resize it the same size um, as my other word because what I want to do and if you have a problem resizing it just press your keep your control key pressed and to get it on top now what I'm going to do is I want to create a little bit of a shadow effect behind that so I've come in here and selected the word underneath and now I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to uh, select shadow and there you see that the shadow is right there so I think I'm good with that um, and I'm just going to uh, select outside so there is the shiny gold super car which is uh, very similar to this one 
um, that I've created up here. Now just note that when you are using Magic Morph, you're never going to get the same design twice because it's AI generating that design for you. Okay, so it's it's not um, common that you'll get the same design. It'll be slightly different every time. Now, um, just to show you what the other um, options are, examples like for example, if I wanted to um, use uh, the pumpkin um, option. And that's what it looks like with the pumpkin option. There's even this one, if I like this one better. I'm going to go back and I am going to choose the flowers. And I'm going to choose uh, pink flowers and see what it um, creates for me. Okay, I'm going to choose this one and see what that looks like. Uh, that looks interesting. And that's pretty much it. Uh, when you're done, you can come to the share button and you can download your design and then use it any way you like. I hope that you liked this tutorial and that you learned something from it. If you did, please do press that like button and subscribe to be notified when new content comes out. Thanks for joining me, my friends. Until next time, bye-bye.